horses on New Year's Eve, walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were. So you can see here I took the panel off here. Uh, this one actually unbolts to get to the heater. It's attached with mach machine screws and this one below here was attached with machine screws but also rivets. Rivets for some reason. So you can see where I drilled the rivets out. And uh, here's the panel here. And there was that big empty space under there, hollow, behind here. So I'm building this. And uh, some, when I'm trying to build something real complicated in 3D like this in a tight spot, um, I'm not, I don't do this for a living. So what I do, have been doing is just kind of building this thing in place. Um, I built, I made this, this piece of angle, that brace there, I made that first and bolted it in place. And then I made this frame and I just, uh, I just went underneath there and lifted the frame up until it touched the, uh, the brace and marked where I wanted it and then welded that and so then I had the, the frame and the brace welded together and screwed it back up there and then measured for these other two braces and so it's kind of time consuming I've had this thing in and out you know ten times but it's getting close I, I realized too late that I made a mistake here because uh, my battery drawer is going to need to slide out of here I'm not sure if that's showing up but anyway this this edge here is in the way and what I need to do is actually move this entire tray to the right but I can't do that um, at this point I'm kind of thinking about I'm thinking about just adding another just another section on here and so then the tray will just be wider than I need and then I can make a floor out of a piece of plywood put it on there so that's kind of where I'm going at this point but I decided it was easier, way easier actually, to just weld another little extension on there. And uh, I've got one more bracket, kind of. it kind of looks like this one, but in reverse. It's in place down there, so I'm going to just bolt this guy in and then tack weld that, that last bracket onto there. And also mark for the holes. Each of these has another hole, so I'm going to mark the holes and uh, tack weld that thing in there yeah there's the other brace it's a little bit crooked but it, that's one reason I'm going to spot weld it into place and then I'll pull the whole thing down and weld it and paint it and we'll see what that looks like okay here it is I painted it red because there's not enough red in the world and there's too much red paint in my cabinet Washington said I've forgotten how to live I've been dead for so long A child stands by her mother's grave Say, listen man, all you've got to say is show me how to love From Florida to Washington I'll tell of all the places that he's been All our country stands between us And I wonder where and when I'll see you again
So here's what I got going on here. Um, <coughs> I've put the piano hinge on here and I'm using these hood pins. These are flush mounted. Gonna cut a hole in the, the side like that. And then they actually, you have to, uh, there we go. And to pop them, you just go like this. So I'm about to cut this one out over here. And we'll see what that looks like. Hey, how's it going? Uh, John here. Just want to give you guys a quick heads up about the hood pins in my video. The hood pins on my bus now are arrow catch hood pins. The ones in the video are not arrow catch. And I didn't know any better. I just went looking for, you know, hood pins. I'm not... I, I didn't know I didn't know but if you go to their site you see this counterfeit warning um, and uh, I became suspicious when the hood pin in the video broke the first time I used it and that's when I started uh, doing some research and I discovered this counterfeit warning and I discovered that I had bought the cheap uh, knockoff by mistake not knowing any better uh, don't do it um, the the real ones are uh, they're so close the the arrow catch ones actually fit in the same hole and if you look at them up close I I can't tell any difference between the two but there's a big difference and uh, the cheap ones will break and these won't so uh, the the arrow catch ones I don't know they're seventy dollars or something like that the cheap ones are around twenty dollars. Um, you know, if you're inclined to buy the cheap ones, why don't you just take a $20 bill and set it on fire? Because you'll get more enjoyment out of it than you will out of the cheap knockoffs. So I just wanted to pass along the heads up. Arrow catch, good. Arrow fake, bad. So, uh, yeah. Don't, uh, don't get the fake ones by mistake like I did. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care. Mm-hmm.